Hello and welcome, I'm Ivan Zhugitz, and today we'll look at how to create container paragraphs. So what is a container paragraph? The concept of a container is fairly simple. It's a paragraph type that has its own paragraph field and allows you to nest paragraph items. And if you look at this image here, you can actually see two banner paragraph containers. The first one with the blue has two nested paragraph items within it, whereas the, the green has a single content paragraph type nested inside of it. And this lets you do all sorts of things. Another example would be a carousel. So you could create a carousel container paragraph type, and then each slide can be a nested paragraph item. So today, I wanna to show you how to set up a banner paragraph type. And if you prefer to read this in text, head over to the link below. If not, keep watching. Okay, so here I've got a basic Drupal 8 website. The only thing I've done is downloaded and installed paragraphs and I've created a single paragraph type called content. And this paragraph type is pretty simple. It has two fields, a title and a long text content field, and that's it. So this paragraph type could be used to simply display static content and that's it, okay? So the first thing I'll do is go into con uh, structure, paragraph types, and click on add a new paragraph type. And I'll call this banner and then hit save. So now the paragraph type has been created. Under operations, click on manage fields. Okay, let's now create our two fields. We'll need to create an image field to store the actual image and a paragraph field, which will be used to add in the nested paragraph items. So click on add field, select image, and I'll call this image, and the machine name will be field underscore image. Okay, that's all right. Click on save and continue and we'll leave the settings as default and we'll make this field a required field. And then at the bottom hit save settings. Okay, let's now create another field and this time we'll create a paragraph field. We'll call these paragraphs and then hit save. Again, leave these leave that form as is. But down here in the reference type, we'll select content. And what this does is it will only allow us to select content on this paragraph field, which is exactly what we want. We don't want users to select a banner. So we only want them to, to select content. Then click on save settings. Okay, now that we have created our two fields, let's head over to Manage Display and configure the formatters. So we need to change two things on this page. The first is hide the paragraphs label because it's not needed. And the second thing is to disable the image field because we'll have a bit of code in a pre-processor which will add the image as a background style. So once you've configured the formatters, click on save. Okay, now the final bit of work we need to do is create a pre-processor with a bit of custom code in there. So open up your trusty text editor, add the following bit of code into a module or your theme. And what I'll do is actually add it into a custom module. So I'll just paste this in and change the word hook to the actual module name. Okay, so right now I've created this preprocessor and this preprocessor is pretty basic. It is for the banner paragraph type and all it does is it grabs the image from the image field and then applies it as a background style and that's it. Okay, once you have created the preprocessor, make sure you drush cache rebuild. Remember, it's drush CR now in Drupal 8, not drush CC or. 
something that I often forget. And now, if we go into content, add content, and go to a content type that has a paragraph field on it, and we'll call this test article, and I'll click on add banner. All right, so now you can see the two fields that we created. Let me upload an image and I'll add in a content paragraph type. Let's just give it some random characters, put in a few paragraphs and click on save and publish. Well, we forgot one extra thing. Oh, the alt text, make sure you enter in an alt text and then click on save and publish. And if all went well, here you go. If I inspect this element, okay. So if we, okay, so you can see here that the background image has been set and we did this using the preprocessor. And then of course you can see the rest of the paragraphs. That's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on the tutorial page and thanks for watching.